Hello everyone, my name is iTechMan and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be jailbreaking all devices that are on iOS 12 through 12.1.2. Now, uh, the the uh, Electra team just released this jailbreak, no kidding, like a few hours ago. Here is, is their website. You can go to uh, the Chimera.sh website, I'll leave a link down below. But I'm gonna quickly go through how you can download it, install it, and use it on any of your iOS devices. Uh, this is, like I said, was just released a few hours ago. It's it's completely stable. The only catch though is that it's not it's not really an untethered jailbreak, but it's not a tethered jailbreak. It's it's one of those that if, if you do turn it off, it'll still be there, but you have to use the Cydia Impactor again uh, just to re -able, just so you can reuse your jailbreak again. But I'll get through that in just a moment. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and go to the uh, Chimera.sh site and then download Chimera 1.0.2 on your computer. After you're done with that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and download the Cydia Impactor. Of course, I'll leave links down below on how to, uh, on downloading those uh, wet proper files. I'm on a Windows system, so all you have to do is just go down to Windows and select Windows to download your Cydia Impactor. Once you have all of that downloaded, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and go to your impactor folder uh, once you finish extracting it and putting it somewhere like on your desktop you're gonna go ahead and want to run impactor okay so once you have city impactor up and running what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and drag and drop the Electra IPA straight into the application it's gonna ask you for your username and password which is completely normal I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in right now and what it's doing right now is basically taking the IPA, extracting it, and putting it all straight into your iPad so that way you can launch the Chimera application. And if you have a problem whenever you're putting in your password and it gives you some kind of error, usually it's because you have two-factor two authentication turned on, I'll leave some special directions down in the description below on how to still have that enabled and still be able to do this uh, this jailbreak. But when, once it's done, like what it is right now, where you don't see anything transferring, and you see an icon on your iPad, it means that it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and shift our focus to the iPad. Okay, now you can see that we have this new icon on our iPad called Chimera. Let's go ahead and tap on that. It's gonna say it's an untrusted developer. This is completely normal, okay? Uh, it's gonna have your email address and all that stuff. So just go ahead and hit cancel, and then you're gonna wanna head, go ahead and go to your settings, go to general, and then you're gonna wanna have to go all the way down until you see device management. You'll see that your email address is there as well. So just go ahead and click on that. And this is gonna say the developer app. Go ahead and just click on your email address and then just tell it to trust because basically what this is doing is it's, it's thinking that it's a third party application, which it is, but it's using your email address as the primary developer. So that way it can install it and upload it and launch it. So now that we've done that, go ahead and go back into Chimera and now it'll launch completely normal. So you can see here, this is your iPad is compatible. Go ahead, just tap on the giant jailbreak button. It's gonna say re reboot recommended uh, to ensure optimal success when running Chimera. It is recommended that you run, that it is run immediately after a reboot. So go ahead and just say continue anyway. Uh, I'm gonna do this without rebooting because I've already rebooted the iPad once. It's just a good idea to do so. So let's go, go ahead and give it some time to do its little thing and then we'll be right back once it's done. Okay, some of you might be getting this error and this is completely normal. I'm gonna show you how to fix this error before we go forward. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go into your settings. Once you're in your settings, you want to delete any iOS 12.2 updates from your iPad storage in the settings and then run the application in airplane mode. It'll immediately fix the problem and this is how we're gonna do it. You're gonna go into settings, turn on airplane mode. So that's gonna be our first step. Then we're gonna to go to, wanna to go to our general and then go ahead and click on general and then click on iPad storage. You'll see here iOS 12.2. Go ahead and select that and then delete update. Once it's been deleted, then we can go back to our Chimera update, select it, and if the error is out like this, it's completely normal. All you have to do is just go ahead and re-upload it again using the Cydia Impactor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quickly. Okay, so once it's been re-uploaded, then you can go ahead and click on Chimera. It's gonna say again, unable to verify app. So you're just gonna get one, you're just gonna go back and, and add yourself as a trusted developer, like we did in the earlier step. And if it gives you this unable to verify developer, just just temporarily turn off airplane mode. You know what? Just go ahead and just leave airplane mode off because at this point, once we've deleted the application, we no longer need airplane mode turned on. So go ahead and click on Chimera. So now we have internet access. Let's go ahead and let it launch. All right. So now that it's up and running, let's go ahead and click on jailbreak. All right, so now it's saying here, reboot required. Chimera has to reboot to finish the jailbreak process. When your device reboots, reopen Chimera to complete the process. We'll say, okay. 
So now it's gonna go ahead and reboot. Just give this a second. It's completely normal that it's rebooting. And then once it's done rebooting, we'll show you the screen again. If you get the software update thing, just say close, don't ignore it, okay? And then go ahead and click on Chimera one more time and then click on jailbreak. And then now it's going to be working on the actual jail. Basically it was getting all the files in place first during the beginning before the reboot. Now it's going to go ahead and install the actual files this time. So let's give this a little bit of time and then we'll go on to step. We'll just give this a little bit of time. Now we're on step two of three. This is good, three of three. And keep our fingers crossed. Let's see if we get that jailbreak. And we're gonna be rebooting the, and it reboots the iPad one last time is what it looks like. Either that or it's restarting the springboard. So if you see this, it's completely normal. Right now it's just respringing the springboard, which basically means it's just trying to refresh all the applications. And then now, we just go ahead and type in our passcode one more time. Okay, now we can see our iPad. Let's go ahead and swipe to the right. And then we can see here we've got Citeo. Let's go ahead and click on Citeo. And we're basically here. This is basically our jailbreak. We don't have Cydia anymore, but right now it's refreshing all of our sources. And it looks like we're all good to go. For right now, this is the complete way to jailbreak the iPad on version 12.0. You can see here we've got a bunch of applications, a bunch of little tweaks. We can add our sources. This is basically our version, our current version of Cydia. So anyways, if you found this tutorial very helpful, go ahead and give me a like, comment, subscribe, click on that bell icon. And as always, I will see you in the next tutorial.